Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus, and in today's video, we're going to reset the SIG of a security gateway. And I'm sure most of you already know how to do this, but we are not do it, going to do it the ordinary way. We are going to do it the way that we don't need to do CP stop. We don't need to do, well, more or less have a failover of traffic. But I will just show you how this works if we have it and if we do it the ordinary way. So I have a normal uh, cluster here with two gateways and we can see if we double click on one of the of one of the gateways we can see communication trust established test sick and we get communicating so that's all good and i'm also logged into the boxes so we can see that they are active and standby so we did check on gateway number one and gateway number one is the active node so if we do like this, we do a watch command here instead, so we can see that it's actually failing over. Uh, and it's good to spell it correct. CP, CP, H, A. Okay, so now this is updating and we are on the standby member and we are going to reset uh, the SICK on the first member Let's do a ping as well. So we ping through the gateways. And to reset SICK, well, that's we're doing clish. So exit, and then we do CP config. And here we have the ability for uh, secure internal communication number five. And we want to reinitiate the communication yes and it says here that uh, this will run cp stop meaning the box will it will not reboot but it will stop all the checkpoint processes so do we want to do this yes and i just add a activation key i do checkpoint one two three like that and then 11. So when I do exit here now, we should see that this is failing over and become the active. And in worst case, you will also see that it's affecting the traffic. So resetting SICK by doing this way, uh, it will lo load the initial policy. It will uh, restart all the services. You will have a failover. So more or less you would need to do it under service window so to avoid this and let's see if we are back up and running i think maybe we're kicked out no not yet so what do we need to do to get back up, up and running here because this is lost well if we go back here take uh like this the gateway number one and we do edit common communication test sick it's failing. Okay, so we need to reset it here as well. And then we need to do checkpoint one, two, three. Checkpoint two, three. And initialize. And now is trust established. Okay, okay. Now we need to publish. And we also need to install the policy. And if we open this one, uh, we can go into expert. I'm going to watch here. If we are quick enough, you see it's not even started that it's in, in a cluster. So this is also something that the gate will, will be aware of now when it gets the policy. So let's get back this up to, to normal. Now it's an init. Uh, now it will become standby. And depending on your priority, it will become active as well. So we have the priority to, to change because uh, we want always the, the first member to become active. This is something that you can change if you want to. And we also see here that policy installation failed. Okay, what did fail? Well, that's the threat prevention policy. If we do like this, install policy again, and we can only install the threat prevention policy if we want to do that, then everything will be green. 
So this is a standard. So this is the, the normal way to, to do it. But the drawback of this is that it becomes an outage. All right, so can we do this another way? Yes. So there is an SK for this. And that's the SK here. So SK uh, 86521. That's the SK for resetting the SIC without resetting the firewall process. So um, SIC has to be reset on gateway. You don't want to load the initial policy. You don't want to stop the traffic and you don't want to restart checkpoint services. So what could the reason be why you want to do this? Well, that's obvious. You don't want a maintenance window. You don't want an outage. And when is a reason when you can use this? Well, if you want to change management station, if you want to change the IP of your management station, if you want to move gateways from one uh, normal management station to a CMA within an MDS, this is perfect. So let's try this. All right. So everything is uh, hunky-dory. So let's see the process on how to do this. So here's the process. So more or less, we need to do this one. And we can do like this. And we will do it on the active member. So we will do it on the gateway number one, this one. And I'll do clear. And maybe I can zoom a bit. So we do like this and we do, yeah, we can do one VPN one, two, three. So VPN one, two, three, this is the sick key. So let's do like this, enter. And after we have run this command, we need to run two more commands. So here is still the process. We can do like this. So copy, uh, name is referring to something. No, it's not referring to something. So let's do it like this. Paste. And let's just wait. Or we kicked out. Hmm. Just needed to press OK or Enter one time. And do this one as well. All right, so let's see what is the next step. Uh, we are not running security gateway, but we are running in smart console. So let's just see if this actually changed the key and we can do like this. Yeah, you see here. Now we lost the communication. So there is no communication. Verify that, that the SIC is, um, is working more or less. And just verify here. We still have the traffic going through number one. So this is, hasn't changed. And we haven't lost any pings because the traffic haven't changed. So let's do like this. And then Communication and we can just test stick here and it's failing and then we do reset. Yes. And then we do VPN one, two, three. VPN one, two, three. Initialize. Trust established. Closed. Closed. Okay. So this will turn green. And we will do publish. We still need to, I think we still need to push the policy. Let's see if it says anything in the, in the process it says install the policy if needed. So I don't know. Let's see if we actually need to do that communication, test sick. Now it's communicating. So this will turn green even without us not pushing the policy. So maybe I should just wait so we get it in the video so it's actually in green and you trust me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this is pretty cool. 
So this is something that I have used myself when I have moved VSX clusters to different CMAs, when we have changed IP addresses, when we have done a larger migration work and we don't really want to have like, well, we don't want to have an extra maintenance window. We don't want to do additional work by resetting, failing over. I mean, if it's a really small environment, maybe it doesn't matter. But if you have a VSX, and it's say 50 customers on it. You don't really want to, well, you don't really want to reset the whole box and have a failover. Maybe you want, maybe it's multiple cluster members. So you need to do it several times. Maybe you need to do it um, in a specific order because you have not enough performance in the boxes and so on. So. This is an SK that you should be aware of, and it will be handy to be aware of it. And if you work long enough with Checkpoint, this is something you definitely will use. So the SK, as I said, is the 86521. Technical level expert. Yeah, maybe. So maybe I shouldn't put this in the CCSA video series. I will put this in a, I don't know, troubleshooting or CCSE. So you see here, yellow here. Uh, so it's complaining on licenses. So it's actually okay, everything else. Um, so you see, we didn't need to push the policy, but yet to, well, show it, we can push the policy. So now the policy has been installed. Everything is successful. We didn't need to push it twice because it already has the policy. And as you did see, we didn't change any, uh, any status. And that you can see here because the member was changed due to higher priority of the remaining cluster. So, so this is the first failover that we did do. And more or less, we only needed to run three commands. So, um, well, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.